Well, let's bring in, as we do every Tuesday, the splendidly informed former executive assistant, and you love her, to the American President Ronald Reagan, Peggy Grandy. Peggy, thank you again for being with us, and my viewers love what you're doing. But look, it's no comfort to know that Americans seem to be in all sorts of trouble. The national average gasoline price has now topped $5 a gallon this month, and President Biden said he'd ask Gulf allies to boost oil production. Peggy, didn't Joe Biden inherit an America which was energy independent? Yes, Alan, and thank you for having me on. Not only did he inherit a place that was energy independent, we were actually exporting oil all around the world. And so we've gone from a place of cleanly and locally drilling our own oil and providing energy for not only us domestically, but it to the world. And Joe Biden now is not only energy dependent and not only going to our allies, but he's also going to our enemies around the world, begging them to produce more oil. We have plenty of oil here in the United States, but he refuses to allow us to drill it here. It's a bad policy mistake. People see through it. They're yeah, not yeah. buying his excuses and his blame. Yeah, well, we've got the same problem here, uh, Peggy. Heaps of coal, heaps of gas, heaps of uranium, and we don't use that. We're going madly for renewables. But the issue here about the petrol price is they have become now the main driver of inflation. Hasn't Biden told Americans they'll have to stomach high gas prices? I read a quote from him, quote, as long as it takes to beat back Putin's invasion of Ukraine. How's this going down with American voters? Just cop it. The American people do not buy this and his hashtag of Putin's price hike. People aren't believing because the moment Joe Biden took office, gas prices started rising. And so it's his policies that have caused these problems, not Putin. And the American people are really frustrated by this. And the Band-Aid solutions that he keeps proposing aren't fixes at all. And they're frankly insulting to the American people. His, his saying that he's going to reduce the federal tax, which really takes about 18 cents a gallon off this five or six dollars a gallon of gas. And so people aren't buying this. Joe Joe Biden is the only person blaming Putin. Everybody else is blaming Joe Biden. Yeah, I noticed talk on that point. I noticed an Associated Press NORC Center for Public Affairs research poll released last Wednesday found 85% of Americans said the country was on the wrong track. 79% described the economy as poor, and 67% of Democrats deemed economic conditions were bad. Peggy, surely the government can't go on releasing extra barrels of oil from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. Well, that was never intended to fix bad policy. It was intended to be a rainy day emergency fund. And so releasing from that is not the solution. And the American people are not buying this. They see it for what it is. This hangs around Joe Biden's neck and he doesn't seem intent on fixing it. And in fact, he has said, this is part of our painful transition. Well, we're feeling the pain, but I'm not sure what the transition is to. Even if everybody bought an electric vehicle tomorrow, we don't have charging stations for that. And if people can't afford a $6 gallon of gas, they certainly can't afford a $60,000 electric vehicle. Brilliant. That's Brilliant. not a solution. Brilliant. Joe Biden knows we're feeling the pain. He does not have a transition plan available now.